Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video I'm gonna show you how to start the DR600 but the techniques that I'm gonna show you are valid also for uh, basically all the other big bore four strokes. So firstly I will make a quick explanation of how the four stroke engine works so that it will be easier for you to understand why you should kick the bike at a certain point and then I will start the bike. If you are stuck in the middle of the desert and you just want to know how to start a bike, go straight to this minute. So this is how the first stroke engine works. Let's start from the moment of spark. When the spark happens, all the mixture is compressed into the cylinder head and the piston is pushed down. When the piston arrives at bottom dead center, which is the lowest point, the exhaust valves open and now all the all the gases all the exhaust gases can flow out now the piston is back to top that center again the exhaust valves close while the intake valves open and while the piston is going down it is sucking the mixture through the intake valves now it's again at bottom that center and the piston is now ready to make the compression stroke all the valves are closed as you can see so what happens is that the piston is building up a really really high pressure into the combustion chamber and when the piston will be up again at top dead center there will be spark again and the cycle begins again now let's get back to the compression stroke so the, the last stroke before spark when you gotta turn on an engine with a kickstarter you will find a point that is really difficult to pass through that is the compression stroke and that's because you gotta fight with the with the pressure that is being produced into the combustion chamber as you probably understood the crankshaft makes two entire revolutions for every time that spark happens so this is basically what happens So the best way to kick start a big bore four stroke is to put the piston right after top dead center. So when everything is still closed but the piston has basically one and a half turns to do without any obstacle. So this is right after top dead center. At this point you want to kick on your kickstart lever so that the piston is, is, is going down, up, down and now another compression stroke begins so after one and a half revolutions the crankshaft is gonna have enough momentum to let the piston to pass through the compression stroke and begin a new cycle again and basically start the bike so what the decompressor does is opening the exhaust valves a little bit during the compression stroke so that pressure is being released through the exhaust and you can easily push on the kickstart lever this way you will be able to put the piston right after top dead center and at that point you can kick the bike and it is going to start so turn on the key switch make sure your kill switch is up and don't forget to put your fuel valve on the on position. If the bike is cold, you want to use choke. Half when outside it's not so cold, I mean pretty much every time, and full when it's really really cold outside. So if the bike is already warm, I recommend you pulling the manual decompressor and keeping it, keeping it pulled and giving, giving the bike uh, two or three kicks. Just like that. And now we can start it. So the DR has uh, both the automatic and the manual decompressor. So this is the automatic decompressor and it is activated by the kickstart lever, I mean by the gearing of the kickstart lever and it allows you to pass the compression stroke 
So the automatic decompressor comes into play two times uh, really really close to them and they are both close to the top dead center. I think the second one is uh, just after top dead center which is exactly what we need. So let's try, let's try. You gotta hear the click from the, from the mechanism. One, two. Now we go all the way up so, we, so that we have the entire way, I mean the entire run of the lever and we can kick. Let's try this again. Second one. Okay, the second technique is the manual decompressor. Uh, this one is valid only for the, for the DR and after I will show you how to do it also on other bikes. Because on the DR the manual decompressor uh, stays in position and returns up when, when you find the right point. But yeah, I, I show you. Okay, this is the manual decompressor on the right side of the cylinder head and it's activated by this lever on the handlebar. This one. And just for just for a demonstration, I will disconnect the automatic decompressor so that I can really demonstrate to you that I am starting the bike just with the manual one. Pull the lever and leave it in position. Now bring the kickstart lever slowly down until there we go. Get the kickstart lever back up and kick. If you find the decompressor's lever doesn't stay in position up there on the handlebar, you can try to adjust the nuts here uh, on the cylinder head till it stays in position. The third technique is still with the manual decompressor but basically for all the other bikes because as you can see there is still an automatic mechanism that brings the lever back up. So now I want to show you how to start the bike with the let's say classic method. You have a decompressor but it doesn't automatically come back up after the top dead center. So I will manually use the shaft of the automatic decompressor this way. So I bring the lever down till I, till I reach the compression stroke. There we go. I'm pushing with quite a bit of uh, energy, but it, does, but it doesn't want to go down. So now I pull the manual decompressor that I created and I can easily go down a few centimeters more. Now I'm right after top that center and... There we go. The fourth technique is with no decompressor. There are two ways. Let's start with the first one. And remember that the manual decompressor is still detached. So you will hear the click from the mechanism, but it's not, uh, it's not doing anything. So I go down till I find the top dead center. There we go. And now I just want to kick a little bit to pass TDC till it gets easier and at that moment I want to stop. There we go. This should be the point right after top dead center. Let's try. So the second way without the compressor consists in putting the bike in gear, spinning it, spinning it backwards till you reach the, the point right after top dead center. I mean, uh, if the engine rotates in, in the common way, the, the moment right after top dead center it is actually after top dead center. If the engine rotates backwards, you know, the, the moment after top dead center will be where you feel you cannot spin the bike anymore backwards. So you should find the right point in that way and, and then kick, put, uh, put in neutral and kick. 
some people like to do this, I personally don't. I mean, I don't like the fact that the oil pump is spinning backwards. I know that just one rotation or one and a half is not gonna do anything, but uh, I don't like to do this, this, so I'm not gonna demonstrate this technique. So if you still find it difficult to start your bike, you probably have some other kind of problem. I mean, something like carburation or ignition, ignition issues. So I hope you all guys uh, enjoyed this video. And as always, now throw. And as always, see you in the next one.